So a very common uh, issue with dimensionality, having many, many dimensions, is called curse of dimensionality. As the number of features or dimensions grows, the amount of data that you need to grows exponentially as well. So if you have uh, more features, that means you have more columns in your data frame, you'll need a lot more rows, right, data points to uh, counter uh, the sp uh, sparsity that you get from the growth of the feature. So that's why we want to do our best to reduce the features. And then PCA principal component analysis is the number one um, technique that people use in data science to, to accomplish that, to really reduce the, uh, the number of features. And then um, the implementation is fairly easy. As you can see that you can just do it within, you know, four lines of code. But behind the scene, PCA, um, it's about, think of PCA as a, a compressor. Right. So say you start um, having, so your features originally are, um, you have 100 features and you'll try to compress them so that in the end, uh, you'll get 10 new features. But the 10 new features, they are made up with some percentage of the original feature one, some percentage of original feature two, some percentage of original feature three and so forth. So what you're losing there is that you cannot interpret the features uh, like before, right? If you just use original features as we been using this data set, you know, number of bedrooms is pretty easy to understand what that means. Or number of, you know, bathrooms or a square footage, it's very easy to interpret. However, if you're saying 20% bathroom, you know, 30% bedroom, uh, the rest is, um, coming from square footage. That's your new feature, right? New feature one, right? So that is not so easy to understand, right? What does it mean? So that's where, what you're losing. But the flip side is that you can really uh, avoid, right? This cursor dimensionality and really compress your feature space. So let's get started, right? So like I said, implementation is fairly easy. You can just do from sklearn dot decomposition. So this is another like sub module of sklearn import PCA principal component analysis. And this is where like you can initialize, right? Your PCA. What you're saying is that I want four. I want four components. You wouldn't know this from the beginning. Sometimes you have to grid search or other times you can use the elbow approach, right? To see where you should stop, right? Definitely you will have the, uh, the new feature set should be lower than the original feature set because that's what we're doing PCA. However, where to stop is, it's tricky. You will need to sometimes do a lot of um, trials and errors. Other times you can look at elbows uh, plot and to see what is the drop in the explained variance by adding a new uh, feature, right? So that's where you can determine if four is a good number, or five is a good number, 10 is a good number. So now we have this PCA, we can do PCA.fit transform. So remember our X, right? So our X is we have seven features, right? We'll have seven features and then all these, you know, rows. Then we can look at the shape of it, right? So we have 15,007, right? So now we are going to use this PCA to fit transform it. We can do it all at once. So fit it and transform our X. And then I call this um, X transform as, um, you know, the transformed X as X transform. And then let's look at X transformed um, shape, right? Um, okay, let's look at the shape. Now you can see I keep the same, I have the same number of rows. However, the number of columns now reduced from seven to four, right? So because I assign, I define the PCA, right? That I want to use to fit and transform as four. It has four components, right? We call it eigenvectors, right? It has four components. And then here is a very useful um, function. So PCA.components will tell you the components, right? So look at the components. We can actually look at the shape, right? The shape of that is four by seven. What that means is we're going to have, we have four components and each component is made up by the original seven components, right? So that's what that means. So let's look at the first component, right? The first, this component means like the new feature, right? After we do the transformation. So let's look at this. 